Hello guys, thanks for coming back again for those that have subscribed. If you are yet to subscribe, you must click on the subscribe button and also on the bell beside it to notify you when we drop our new video. Thank you. In this video, we're going to look at how we can produce powder detergents both at home and for small scale businesses. So how do we achieve that? Firstly, I will introduce all the chemicals or materials involved in the production. We have the number one, which is PKO. The full meaning of PKO is palm canal oil. It's an oil, so I'm, this is the material, this is the PKO. I think it's have this characteristic color, a little bit brown than this. So and it's an oil, and if you want to get the original one, it is available locally here in Nigeria. And then um, if you want to identify the original one, it's normally congealed, just like we have the palm oil. So it's congealed anyway. So that is how to know the original one. Then we also have caustic soda. Caustic soda. So it's painful that I don't have the raw caustic soda with me, but I already prepared that because we, if, we, if we have to use it, we have to ferment it over 24 hours. So I have done that. So I'm got yet is in this um, beaker here. So this is sodium hydroxide. If you want to identify it physically, it is somehow common. It looks like sugar. It's in granulated form. Yes. So that is it. Then we have soda ash. We have soda ash. Thank God I have that in raw. I have that in raw, and this is my soda ash. Anyway, it looks like cassava flakes. A bit? Cassava flakes, I think so. But however, it's not cassava flakes. And we have to prepare just like the soda, uh, the caustic soda in solution and ferment over 24 hours before we use it. So then we have hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide. So hydrogen peroxide is a liquid, and we have it here. So we are going to still talk about the function of all these components. Then we have sulfonic acid. We have sulfonic acid. Sulfonic acid is different from sulfuric acid. We still also have sulfuric, so we can actually use any one of them. Sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is colorless and is regarded to as H2SO4. But you can only use it in place of this if this is not readily available. But the best one used is this. It has a kind of honey color. This is sulfonic acid. So it's also part of the ingredients. We also have um, the fragrance. Definitely, you know, when you use other detergents, you perceive some characteristic fragrance in it. So that is the fragrance. Then we also have the color. That is optional. Color is optional because I would not like to use color when making my own detergents or whatever. Still have to add, but most common detergents are always in their white form, so that's called. Then, after all, we have also ammonia. We have ammonia. We have ammonia. Ammonia is spelled A M M O N I A. Sorry, we have that word. So now we have ammonia as one of the chemical, and we are going to discuss the function starting from ammonia back. To PKO. This is ammonia in this container. It's colorless, but it has a characteristic pungent smell and it has a choking smell anyway. So the function of ammonia is to allow the, uh, the detergent break into what? Powder or cordially. So that is the function of ammonia and color, just the characteristic color as we already know. The fragrance is to give it a nice fragrance or characteristic good fragrance. Then we have sulfonic acid is a foaming agent. If you add enough of these, definitely the soap will foam very, very well. So that is the function of sulfonic acid. Then hydrogen peroxide is a catalyst in the reaction. It enables the reaction to form in the formation of powder quickly, you know, because most of these uh, materials are also used in production of solid soap, yes. But their ratios and the use of hydrogen peroxide make it quickly form powder before the uh, formation of solid soap. Then we have soda ash, is also a wash, it's called washing soda, I mean. It's also a, a foaming agent. 
Then we have caustic soda. Sorry, this is soda ash and caustic soda. It's there to neutralize the acidic content of the mixture, you know, meaning the sulfonic acid and also it is meant, you know, there is a reaction called saponification whereby caustic alkali, uh, you know, is being, you know, is being used for the hydrolysis of fat or oil. So, and one of the oil we're using is PKO. And at the end of the day, it results in formation of the soap salts, so which we try to convert into powdered form. So, and that is that on the chemicals and their function. So, we can actually discuss also the ratio. The ratio is very simple and how is it done? To make the preparation for caustic soda, if I'm measuring with a cup, suppose I measure my caustic soda in powder form with this full. Meaning that after measuring with this full, I don't need to get the scale or whatever. So once I measure with this, the powder fools here, then I add it into the mixing vessel, then I will have to what? add water of this time steel into it to mix it. So meaning that I'm preparing 25% of it, 25% of caustic soda in solution. And I'm going to keep that for 24 hours before I will be able to use it. They call that process fermentation. So if I make, if I take full of this, I'm going to use three of these of water to mix it. So and that has given us the 25% of caustic soda. And the same way we are going to produce soda ash. And we're keeping it over 24 hours before we could use it. So they call the process fermentation. Then, when it is time for mixing, this doesn't have a limit for however you still have to gauge that because you, you don't want your soap to be too acidic. So the more you put it, the more it becomes it becomes foamy. Then we have the fragrance, it doesn't have limit as well. Then ammonia is just in beads for it to break accordingly. Then the iodine peroxide is also in beads as a catalyst, it's just there and not part of the reaction. Then the PKO. When using your PKO, if I'm using one liter of PKO, after preparing caustic soda, I'm using one liter as well. The ratio of PKO to caustic soda is one ratio one. It's one ratio one. So meaning that if I'm using one liter of PKO, I'm using one liter of caustic soda. So that is one ratio one. And I'm going to use one over two liters of soda ash, then a bit of this, just like maybe 50 ml, then you can add enough of this as a foamy agent, then this doesn't have limits, then you can add about 25 or 50 ml of this, just to make it break cordially. So that is the ratio, meaning that this one is taking ratio 1 to 1, and this one will take ratio half. So where this one you can just add a bit, let's say 50 ml of this is enough. Then you can add up to, if possible, you can add up to one liter of this. One liter. So, as a foamy agent, it has to be there in enough quantity. And don't forget, I said you use sulfonic acid in place of sulfuric. But if this is not readily available, you can actually go for sulfuric acid. Then the fragrance doesn't have limit. So, you can use about 25 ml of this or 50 ml, depending on. The quantity so meaning that if I'm using one liter of three kilo, so this is the quantity I'm going to use. So from there, you can make your calculations. If you are going to make more than one liter, if you are going to use more than one liter of three kilo, then from there, you can deduce how to, how to make the calculation. I would have used a cup or whatever, but it is very easy if I give you the ratio. So let's see how the practical goes now. So these are the materials. Let's see how we mix it together to have what we want. Here I'm going to use um, 250 ml of PKO. I'm going to use 250 ml of PKO. So which is equivalent to, I'm going to use um, 250 ml of caustic soda as well. Let us take the measure. So that is up to 250. Yeah. So now, I'm not going to add caustic soda next. I'm going to add my soda ash. So I'm adding soda ash next, then I mix. This is the soda ash, so I'm adding it next, then I mix. So I've said I'm adding just 125 ml, so which is half of 250 ml. 
So there's this. So after this, I will add my caustic, uh, sorry, sodium hydroxide, I mean hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to add my hydrogen peroxide at this stage. So that's hydrogen peroxide. So next to that, I'm adding my the foaming agent, which is sulfonic acid. I'm adding sulfonic acid next. Which is the foaming agent. So, but we are going to mix homogeneously in one direction. So you shouldn't return the end in the other direction. So this is sulfonic acid. I'm going to add in a quantity that is going to make sense for you to foam well. So next to it, I will add my caustic soda. I'm going to add my caustic soda now. So as you can see, it's rising gradually. rising gradually so the formation of detergents is going up so then I can add my fragrance fragrance so then lastly I have to mix very well in order to add my ammonia that will make it break for the added. So the next one is ammonia. So then we continue the mixing until the component is totally blended together. So this is how the detergent is going to form. As you can see at the edge, it's forming a kind of powder. So as you can see that, it's forming a kind of powder. So then we leave after the mixture has been blended, then we leave to dry. So when it dries, you can use series of drying method either by machine, at least for now, we still have to leave it. Then when it breaks up, then it dries, then we can use the hand drying machine, mostly used in air dressing, uh, air dressing shops or air dressing uh, works. So we use it to dry it or, or spread it in the sun if that is not available. So then we spray it out, then this dries up. You can actually leave this then for it to settle itself and dry off. Then the series of method of drying should not be in form of heat, like too much of heat or thereabouts. So it should be a slower drying process, either in form of that hand dryer or in form of a sun drying process. So that is how to make powder detergent. So this is the content and this is how it is done. As you can see, it has formed what we want. So we can actually test that, putting it, we can actually test that, as you can see, it's foaming. 
so that is how it is being made thanks for watching please subscribe to our youtube channel it's free thank you